Hi, Grade Nines. We're starting with a brand new module, which is Civil Drawings, and that is Module 6 of our course. And we are looking at our first page in Module 6, Civil Drawings. This is what we call an analytical component, uh, where we are given a basic floor plan of a simple house, uh, which is drawn not to scale. And we have the given instructions here on the side, whereby there is principal features on here, ranging from A right down to Z. And then you will find the number, the empty spaces with the numbers on here, ranging from 1 to 26. And that corresponds with the numbering on our floor plan, which we have here. So basically what you need to do, is that you need to find, you need to work your way through number 1 right up until number 26 and find the possible answer that best suits your description in your floor plan, what we see here. You may Google some of the answers that you don't find obvious here. That is no problem at all, it's part of your research. So the instruction clearly states that you only need to write the letter of your answer next to the number in your answer sheet, which is the blank space over here. Learners, just keep in mind that use each description once only. So you can't repeat any of the descriptions which you will find in this space over here. So it's probably best to stop the video at this stage and work through the analytical questions finding the descriptions of each one and then of course once you've completed you may play the video and use the video as a memo random which you can compare with what you have presented let's work our way through the different descriptions on the analytical sheet so if you look at number one which is that one over there that refers to a sliding door because it's in your lounge and it leads you outside. So if you scroll down your principal features, you're going to find S is going to be the first answer. If you look at number two, you will find an arrow and the arrow basically tells you the direction of opening or indicating the direction of opening, which is going to be U there. And you can see our circle so that I know that I've taken that out of the equation for it to be repeated. If you look at number three, please refer to the arrow. Those are three lines here that refer to steps, basically, which is K. I'm going to put K right there. If you look at number four, number four refers to an arrow that points that way, like that, and the arrow refers to the word up, the direction of which the um, steps will be going up. So that's going to be T, which I have here, which I'm going to fill in at number four. Number five refers to that specific component right there where the door hinges on, and that is going to be your door frame. So we're going to look for door frame, or internal door frame. And that's going to be the first one, which is A, door frame there. Look at number six. Number six refers to this wall that you see there. And there are two different types of wall. This is an external wall, and all the inside ones would be internal walls. So if you go to G, which is your internal wall, and I'm going to write G there. Number seven is that over there, referring to that little arc line there. That is the swing of the door, which is your door swing, and that is going to be found here at X. If you look at number 8, number 8 refers to that word that says bedroom 2 and carpet. That basically tells you what the room designation is, and that we're going to find at E, room designation, number 8. Number 9, we look at number 9 here, that as the position of a window in the wall for looking outside and inside and for ventilation as well. So we're going to say window and we're going to find 
window at M is right there. Number 10, going to the side here, and that refers to that specific word carpet there. And that basically tells you what is going to be on the floor of this venue, which is your bedroom. And that is going to be D, your floor finish. So we're going to put D in by number 10. Number 11 refers to this box here with a cross and abbreviating BIC. That would be for build in cupboards. So we're going to scroll down and find build in cupboards, which is Y right there. And we look at number 12, right down, refers to that zigzag line over there. That my dear boys and girls, would be a folding door, which is going to be in right here. Number 13, he is looking at this space here, um, which refers to the door. And because the door is built on the inside wall, which is your external wall, it becomes an internal door, which is going to be F. We move over to the opposite side. Number 14, you're going to find number 14 referring to this line that you see here. And by just looking at the car and the word garage here, tells you that that's a garage door. So we're going to fill in H for garage door at number 14. Number 15, specifically look at this component inside the bedroom and that is going to be a bed and we're going to scroll down and find the word bed and that would be a O so it's double bed over here we look at uh, number 16 number 16 if you follow the line that component in that corner there with the little trap there inside the bathroom can only be your shower and shower would be B Number 17, if you look at number 17 still in the bathroom, that is a hand wash basin, which is J. If you look at number 18, number 18 refers to this component here still in the bathroom, which is your bath. And that is going to be found there at V as your answer. Number 19, still in the bathroom, refers to this component here. And that is going to be your water closet. That's a terminology that we use for toilet. And that's going to be I. Number 20 refers to this symbol over here. And that's a direction symbol. A north direction symbol. So if you scroll down, you're going to find that at R. Which is your north direction we're looking at number 21, moving along this side. We are in our kitchen area now, and those two bowls there refer to our sink, which you have as C for number 21. Number 22, that there where the sink is embedded in, that is a countertop, which could also be referred to as a work surface. That is where you normally prepare your food. That's going to be Z. Number 23, still in the kitchen, it refers to those four-plated component, which is your stove. And your stove, you're going to find at P. Three more to go. 24, learners. If you look at 24 here, that refers to a refrigerator, because you can see the little door there. That's the official a uh, symbol for refrigerator, and that's W. Number 25 refers to this door here that leads you to the outside, that that is going to be L, which is your external door. And the last one is going to be this here, this opening here, basically, which has been dashed, and that can only be Q, which is your archway. An archway is an opening in the wall that leads you from one venue to another without a door. I hope you enjoyed that by finding all the answers.
uh, as given in the principal features and expanding your knowledge on civil and civil drawing.